Hey, just a quick video. There's a post over on MPC forums. Uh, somebody was asking how to set up CV on their MPC one to control some external Euro rack modular gear. And the first thing I'll just point out, and I know I had another video on this, but I ended up getting these uh, Hosa cables that are TRS and allow you to split the four jacks you have in the back so that you can then get two outs for each jack to your Euro rack. So if you're interested in that, you only got eight outs, you can. If, if you get so, uh, just a TRS eighth inch to dual TR outputs. I also, if you look, I got them color coded. I got a pack that had eight that were just different colored cables just so that I was able to tell. It, I basically have it in rainbow order, which is which. So first CV out is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then it's purple gray and brown might be brown and gray i don't quite remember anyway uh important part though is to set up your cvs personally i try to use the 16 pads for track mutes so i typically will go to track 17 to get onto the next page or further out so just go to track 17 or track 100 or wherever it makes sense to you but if you go to your cv here You'll notice that you have a CV, CV program, might be a little hard to read, but right now it says CV001. I'm going to name this as CV clock because I want to set this up as a clock to go up to my Pamela's new workout. And to do that personally, I have it set up as 64 notes. So what, I, what I'll do is go to 64ths, click do it for timing correct, and then just do a quick, hold note repeat and hold the, a pad down. And this will just write in all of these. You can set up a template to do this as well, super easy. But if you go into main, I can then scroll up and you'll see that I've got just a whole row of 64th notes. This is what I use to drive my clock at, out as an output. Now for me personally, I because I'm using this as a clock, I've got CV port, I'm gonna turn that to off, and I'm gonna turn the gate port to one. This is just important to make sure you have wherever you want the gates or your CV going out. You've only got eight and you can't duplicate them. So if you're using CV one in one place, don't use it someplace else. I'd like to take a little notepad and I'll write down what, what CV jacks on the back are for which CV gate port velocity or mod wheel. You can do a lot of really cool complicated stuff, but Anyway, so I've got this CV program labeled CV clock. I'm going to go to the track as well because I'm going to use this as CV clock. I just named both of them the same so that I make sure I'm pairing them correctly. And another thing you might want to do is make sure that uh, your modular is starting the sequence where you want it to. So I'll usually take the next track afterwards and create a cv reset so at the start of every sequence it's going to do a reset i turn timing correct back to 64th and you'll see here the cv program still says cv clock well it can be a little confusing because it says cv port and cv gate and it says cv1 and cv uh cv1 for cv port and it says cv2 for gate port well even though you can stack them, kind of, that doesn't really work the way that you expect it to. And what you, because of how like the note last and some other settings are, are done. So the correct thing here is hit the plus button, create a new CV program, and then I will go in and name this as CV reset as well. Again, this is not CV, re, <laughs> CV reset. What this does is it just makes sure that you have it set up in such a way that when it sends the gate information, that it is not trying to compete with different ports or anything, and it's not trying to take the first or last or anything else. So I've now got two separate programs. Again, CV clock is only outputting to gate ports, uh, a, a gate to the port for over CV1. And if I go to CV reset, I've turned CV port off again, and I now have this set to gate port CV2. Right now it's not doing anything because it's not sending a reset. But the most important part is to then just come in and just record one single note hit, which is what I just did. You can come in and see on main, I've got just one note for C2. Now, if you have a four bar sequence, you 
and that you're in a two bar, one thing just to note is if I go and do something like double the length here of the sequence, I now have uh, two gates. I, if I'm okay with that, because I'm working in modular for a two bar sequence, then it may be okay to reset. But if I wanted to do a four, four bar sequence, then it may be better to come in and just delete this extra note. But I'm just pointing out that if you're going to do anything where you're duplicating your sequence and increasing or decreasing the number of bars, you may need to come back in and check to make sure things are working correctly. Now, given how this is set up for both, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the reset for the, for the moment. I'm going to switch you up to the modular just so you can see uh, Pamela's new workout. And I'll show you just kind of how things are working here. Oh, not quite high enough. And I got some cables in the way, <laughs> so maybe a little hard to see. Anyway, um, almost there. Okay, here we go. So if I scooch it over, you can see it currently says, uh, hopefully you can see that, it says 96 BPM. I'm going to turn it down to 60. It'll just be whatever your panel is set to. But as soon as I hit play on the MPC, it's going, as soon as it gets a couple of the triggers in, you could, should be able to see here, it's immediately gone back to 96. Now, another thing you can see here is that the Mimetic Digitalis, it's a 16 step sequencer. It's going to keep just clocking through. Right now it's just doing the first here and it's getting the a reset off of the uh, Pamela's new workout basically even though this is also, I'm actually supposed to be sending the reset signal off of the this run here. In, in this case, how I have things set up, if I unmute it, what you should see is every, I'm, right now I just stopped it so that the sequencer's not going. Every time I hit play, I'm going to, on the MPC, you can see I'm restarting the, the step for the Mimetic Digitalis here. So if I let it go through, I can just force it back. So this is just a really good way of making sure that things are working the way that you need it to. Anyway, thanks guys. Hope this helps uh, folks out and I'll catch you up with you later. Bye.